Welcome to Taichi's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make shiojake or salted salmon. This shiojake you can find in any supermarket in Japan, but of course in Germany where I live now, you can't find that. But uh, if you have a regular salmon, then you can easily make it yourself at home. Then let's get started. Here are the ingredients for salted salmon. You just need salmon and salt. Then I'm going to prepare the salmon. The salmon has still scales on them, so I'm going to take them out. So in order to take the scale out, so I'm going to use a knife and just rub it against the direction of the scale, like this. And if people don't like that it's kind of shooting out when you do this, you can let it run a little bit of water over it and then do it. And then you won't have spreading scales. So the scales off, I'm gonna cut them. First I'm going to just take the take the water off with some paper towel. And then I'm just gonna cut this in two pieces. Like so. And put it on a plate. And then I'm just going to lightly put salt over it. Not too much, but not too little, so that you'll see little salt. And I'm gonna put this part too. And then on the other side. So if you don't like too salty, then you can just reduce the amount of salt. But for this, you do want to have a little more salt because the salt will take out the water from the salmon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the paper towel under the salmon and just kind of cover it and then let it rest in the fridge for overnight. So uh, this has been sitting in the fridge for overnight. Let's see. I don't know if you can see, but the color it has thickened because the salt has soaked up the water out of this salmon. And you see the meat is more firm. That means the flavor is also dense. So I'm gonna fry this in the pan. So I'm gonna turn on the heat to medium. So I'm going to use the same technique as I did for the miso chicken. I'm gonna put in just a tiny bit of oil here. And then the cooking sheet over it. And then I'm gonna give a little bit of oil here as well. And after that, I'm gonna put in here the salmon. If you have a grill oven, then great, use that, but I don't, so I'm gonna cook like this. And then I'm going to put on the lid and let it cook. And this other piece, I'm going to wrap it in a saran wrap and put it in the freezer so I can eat it later. So this is starting to cook, this looks great. So I'm gonna turn sideways like this and let the skin cook because skin is really good when it's crispy. And like I say, you don't want to use high heat, you want to use medium to even low heat sometimes, depending on the size of the pan, size of the oven. So the skin is, look at the skin, it's crispy. So I'm gonna heat it for about another two or three minutes. So it's about two, three minutes. Let's, yeah, looks great. Let's uh, turn to one more side so that, it's, so that the other side is crispy. And then it's actually finished. And um, it's ready to eat. Itadakimasu! Okay, let's eat. Oh, that looks great. This looks like a perfect balanced breakfast. Uh, even though it's actually like 12 o'clock, 12.30 right now, 
it's my lunch, but this is a really great breakfast. So I made miso soup because I had a lot of leftover ingredients from yesterday where I made three miso soups. And here I have tofu, shiitake mushroom, and spinach together. Okay, let's have a taste. Looks great. Mmm, mmm. Oh, definitely the salt brings up the taste. Because the salt took out the water from the salmon, the flavor is much denser, much thicker. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is really good. Mmm, this is perfect for the rice. And this is also a very typical thing you put in onigiri. Warning, I'm gonna slurp. Mmm, this is also a great mix. Spinach, shiitake and tofu. Mmm. Mm. So this is also very balanced in terms of uh, nutrition. So I have the protein, I have vegetable, I have enough salt, I have rice, carbohydrate. A lot of people wonder why Japanese people are so thin. I think one of the reasons is because of the, our eating habits. We try to eat balanced food and very little fat. I did use a little bit of oil for the salmon, but it's very minimal. And as you see, there's really no fat in this diet. Gotsotomashita! That was delicious. As you saw, making salted salmon is really not that difficult and it just matches rice perfectly, especially the Japanese rice. So please try it at home yourself and let me know how it went in the comments below. If you have any requests or even critiques, uh, please write in the comment as well. If you found this video informative, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!